So I've been looking at the uh, Mace Windu versus Darth Sidious duel a little bit more in detail, and I've come up with some new observations. And now I have this video turned on in 0 0.25 speed, a quarter speed, because first of all, it makes it easier to analyze the scene, and secondly, it prevents, I hope it prevents me from uh, being copyrighted. So we'll see if this works out. And if not, I guess you won't be seeing the video because it will be pulled down because of copyright. But anyway, I hope this works. Okay, yeah, Star Sidious already knows these Jedi are coming because he can sense it and he already has everything planned out. And secondly, these Jedi know that they are dealing with the Dark Lord and the Sith. So they, of course, pull out their lightsabers very, very quickly. And Kit Fisto, Agent Kolar, and Zazie Tin are incredibly talented members of the Jedi Council. And so uh, Mace Windu and, of course, the rest of these guys, they think that they're going to be enough to handle Darth Sidious. And they are prepared, but unfortunately Darth Sidious is even more prepared. And so Darth Sidious, very calmly, look at the way he handles things very calmly. Of course, Darth Sidious is basically saying that he is the Senate, I am the Senate. Basically, he's in charge of the Senate, entire, the entire Republic, everything is his, it's in his pocket. But Mace Windu still believes that there is a chance to um, stop that from happening. And, of course, Darth Sidious gets ready. Now, it, I guess it's probably uncomfortable to hold hit your lightsaber up your sleeve the whole time. But, I mean, he does it, so... Okay. Here comes the really weird scream. And of course, the force scream is supposed to throw the Jedi off guard. Now, what exactly are the Jedi expecting here? Is he, are they expecting him to just comply willingly? Obviously, they're not doing that because, oh, by the way, the jump is hilarious. <laughs> Obviously, they know he's going to attack. That's why their flight was ready. But of course, Darth Sidious is so fast, and Mace Windu is the only one who's quick enough to keep up. Of course, immediately, Darth Sidious takes out Agent Kolar. And then, of course, Darth Sidious takes out Seizi Tin. And, oh, by the way, uh, we already missed... Uh, let, let me go back. And of course... Uh, while Darth Sidious is killing Agent Kolar, Seizi Tin is trying to kill Darth Sidious. Seizi Tin is trying to swing and kill Darth Sidious while he's still distracted with Agent Kolar, but Darth Sidious is too fast and he kills Seizi Tin very quickly. And we have Kit Fisto and Mace Windu versus Darth Sidious. Now, Kit Fisto impressively stood up long enough, like Kit Fisto lasted long enough when he fought Darth Sidious. Yeah, Kit Fisto was really trying his best. And of course, Darth Sidious kills Kit Fisto. Now, I will give Savage Press a lot of credit because Savage Press killed Adi Galea, as you can see in the other video that I did where it was titled Adi Galea was horny. Uh, but Savage Press lasted a pretty long time against Darth Sidious, longer than those Jedi Masters on the Council did, so Savage Press was pretty good. He could probably take out uh, Stacey Tin and Agent Kolar and Kefisto. But yes, um, Mace Windu is, of course, also clearly having a very hard time. Because Mace Windu, um, even though he was expecting a challenge, he wasn't expecting Darth Sidious to be this powerful. Now, Darth Sidious, of course, is also um, having a hard time, too, because Mace Windu is a very powerful lightsaber duelist. So both of them are just really getting an idea of what it feels like to fight a really powerful Jedi and Sith. But yeah, Mace Windu is really trying to adjust his moves and to move um, very efficiently and quickly and avoid getting killed. And of course, Darth Sidious here thinks that he has the advantage. He thinks he can just stab Mace Windu. Mace Windu realizes that, so Mace Windu flips the table and Mace Windu simply grabs Darth Sidious by the wrists and like basically is just trying to break Darth Sidious' hands and uh, wrists. And clearly, uh, since Darth Sidious is so like he's struggling and Mace Windu is just really trying to break Darth Sidious' wrist here and Darth Sidious is really feeling the pain and like Mace Windu is getting all up in Darth Sidious' face 
Imagine if Mace Windu had broken Darth Sidious's wrists here. It would have been probably very hard on him. And of course, Mace Windu and Darth Sidious. Now, I think here is the moment that Darth Sidious does realize that Mace Windu is actually a better lightsaber duelist and that Mace Windu is going to win the lightsaber part of the duel. So basically, Darth Sidious is like, oh, Mace Windu, pretty impressive. And so this is where Mace Windu is really starting to get the upper hand of the duel because initially, as you saw, Mace Windu was getting backed out of the room and he was really struggling, but now Mace Windu has gained the upper hand ever since he twisted Darsidius's wrists, and Darsidius is now the one who is um, trying to play defense. Before it was Mace Windu playing defense, but now it's Darsidius playing defense. So Mace Windu really uh, got a hold of the situation and realized what was happening and really just took control of the situation. Or it seems, it seems he did, because really Darth Sidious is more powerful. And so, I believe that watching this scene again, I actually have a much different interpretation of the scene. I think that Darth Sidious is actually, I think that Darth Sidious' original plan was to kill all the Jedi, was to kill Agent Kolar, Sazy Tin. Oh yeah, I never noticed, uh, Darth Sidious just went down on one knee. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah, so they broke the window, and Mace Windu was intentionally leading Darth Sidious to the window so that he can uh, really distract Darth Sidious, and because Darth Sidious has to use his uh, attention, of, or Darth Sidious kneels, like he, he's down on, like he, he kneels, it's so weird. Yeah, Darth Sidious is clearly, he is struggling, and Mace Windu is very impressive. And of course, they have to keep their focus to stop themselves from falling out the window. Yes, so. So here comes a part where Mace Windu does when Tarsidius tries to keep trying to do the stabbing move that worked on Asian Cooler, but it's not going to work on Mace Windu. And yeah, clearly they're both struggling. Mace Windu is struggling, but Mace Windu manages to knock the lightsaber out of Darth Sidious' hand with a simple kick. Uh, yeah, oh, 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 I see. Uh, I did not notice this. Mace Windu kicks Darth Sidious in the face, and Darth Sidious drops the lightsaber. So Mace Windu just kicked Darth Sidious in the face. Wow, I did not notice that before. Yeah, Mace Windu kicks Darth Sidious in the face causing Darth Sidious to drop his lightsaber. Now, here's the interesting part. Obviously, Darth Sidious knew that he had tempted Anakin enough and that Anakin was going to turn to the dark side. And I think what Darth Sidious was intending to happen was for Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, Agent Kolar, and Sazie Tin to just come in and try to take him. And Darth Sidious truly believed that he could just kill them all. And so I, here's what I think Darth Sidious' original plan was. His original plan was to kill Agent Kolar, Sazie Tin, Kit Fisto, and Mace Windu. And then make it look like they try to kill him. And that Darth Sidious could say, oh, these four Jedi tried to come and kill me. So I uh, did self-defense and killed these four Jedi. And now you see the Jedi are all traitors. So they all need to die. So I'm going to execute Order 66. And so he was going to use that as a pretext to kill all the Jedi. And Darth Sidious probably figured that his propaganda, his lie would work on Anakin. That Anakin would just believe the Jedi tried to kill him, and so uh, Anakin would just willingly just immediately join Darth Sidious and come to the dark side and uh, become Darth Vader. And so Darth Sidious probably seemed, figured it would work that way, but Mace Windu did prove to be a lot more powerful than Darth Sidious had bargained for, and Mace Windu was very impressive. And so Darth Sidious initially, as I said, had the upper hand of the duel, and he seemed like he was going to kill Mace Windu by stabbing him, but Mace Windu just grabbed Darth Sidious by the wrist and started trying to break Darth Sidious's wrists, essentially. And so um, Darth Sidious was playing defense and Mace Windu was getting the upper hand. And of course they went to the window and, Mace, and Darth Sidious was basically really struggling and kneeling. And uh, Mace Windu knocked the lightsaber out of Darth Sidious's hand by kicking Darth Sidious in the face. Mace Windu kicked Darth Sidious in the face, which is what I hadn't noticed before. And so when the tide of the duel changed and Darth Sidious lost the lightsaber portion of the duel, I still am of the opinion that Darth Sidious was more powerful than Yoda and Mace Windu and that he could have used the Force to destroy them. But uh, right when this happened and Anakin showed up, Darth Sidious realizes that 
Anakin is here and Mace Windu is more powerful than me in terms of lightsaber combat. And so Mace Windu did get the upper hand. Of course, I could just drag back with the force and destroy Mace Windu at any time. However, with his opportunity, seeing as how Mace Windu has knocked the lightsaber out of my hands and I look defenseless, I can use this to appeal to Anakin and uh, fully turn to the dark side. Because really what fully turns Anakin to the dark side is the fact that Anakin helped kill Mace Windu. The fact that Anakin helped kill Mace Windu is what turns Anakin to the dark side, essentially, because Anakin realizes that there's really no going back from helping kill Mace Windu. Like, come on, like, Anakin, because he's killed Mace Windu, he's basically a traitor to the Jedi. And, of course, Yoda is going to kill Anakin when he finds out. And so Anakin has no choice but to join Darth Sidious afterwards. So really, the fact that Mace Windu joins, gains the upper hand of the duel, ends up playing out in Darth Sidious' favor. I think Darth Sidious is very good at agile development and uh, fixing his plans as he goes along and really adjusting as necessary. Now, did Darth Sidious actually think that Mace Windu would be killing him? Um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure. I don't think so, because I th still think Darth Sidious could have escaped very easily and destroyed Mace Windu. However, um, if Anakin had not stepped in, what would Darth Sidious have done? I, I think he had a backup plan. So really just, just shows that Darth Sidious is very good at adjusting and making plans and uh, just getting getting better at things. Now, what happens to Mace Windu's lightsaber? Who knows? Who knows? Yes. So it is very interesting what happens here. And Darth Sidious, it was clearly faking it. And so, yes, this is the end of Mace Windu. And as I said, I think Mace Windu is completely dead. <laughs> power, unlimited power. This is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I really love this scene. <laughs> it's such an awesome scene. Uh, Hayden Christensen and Samuel Jackson and Ian uh, McDiarmid. They they all did a very good job. Wow. Unlimited power. So yes, that those are my many observations in the sea. Lots of things I hadn't noticed before. So Darcidius had a plan before, but his plan got better. You can see Mace Windu is basically dead at this point, even before he gets thrown out the window. So, bye-bye Mace Windu. Windu out the window.